wanted to give you an update on my bees. This is a shot of the bees out on the clover in my front yard. That's about all that I have blooming right now for them to harvest nectar and pollen from. So they're out there enjoying the, the clover in the front yard. These are a shot of my 3D printed indoor beehive. The bees are really doing very good in them. They uh, have established a lot of brood and they have capped it off on this side over here as well as on this side. And the brood is, is what they is cap off whenever the, the larvae reach a certain stage. They'll cap it off and the larvae will continue to mature in there until they're fully developed and then they'll come out. So that's what they're doing. They're starting to cap it all off now. And they have expanded into this second section and they've started building comb on this side over here. They've still got a lot over here that they can build on. I've started giving them some more sugar water because there's not a whole lot for them to to harvest outside right now so I did give them a little more sugar water that'll help them establish some more brood one of the things I wanted to show you was my my flow hive um, I showed you this last week but I didn't go into a lot of explanation about what it is uh, on the flow hive this is where the bees will put all the honey in this box um, they will go into that this box from this tube that is connected to the hive up here. I don't have it open yet. I still got a few things I need to do to get it ready. But in order to get the honey out of it, it's very simple. You just take and connect a, this tube to the frame right there. Put your jar under the tube and then you just turn this handle. And then the honey flows out right into the jar don't have any honey in there to show you yet but when I do I'll I'll show that to you now I'll show you how this works and how the honey flows out of it this is looking at the side of the comb and you can see all the holes that the bees will deposit the honey into and once they have this filled up with honey then I will go over here and I'll insert this handle inside this hole here on the bottom and then I will rotate it like this and this is what happens you see how it split all the cells to where the honey can then drain down into a trough at the bottom of the the frame and flow out that tube on the end then once all the honey is drained out I insert the tube the handle in the frame on the top hole and then turn it back and you see it lines all the, the holes back up and they can begin refilling the holes with the honey again so I'm looking forward to trying this out I hope it's going to work the way I think it's going to and so we'll, we'll see I'll post a video when it gets time to harvest it and let you see how that works I got to um take the frames out of the inside I need to coat them with some honey I, this top normally screws down but I've already taken the screws out of it and I've got to take the frames out of here and coat them with some beeswax when they come they they're just plastic and the bees don't really like to build on just plain plastic so I'm gonna coat them with some uh, beeswax so that they'll be easier for the bees to to build on I wanted to show you down in the bottom of this box. Down in the bottom I have some screens in the bottom so that if anything falls down in the bottom it can just go through those holes in the screen. And then down here on the end I have a, a plastic tray that I can pull out and take and wash it and then put it back in if anything falls on there. I have a similar thing on each one of these hives over here have a little drawer at the bottom that pulls out and you can see there's quite a bit of droppings in there of stuff that falls down and you can clean that little this little drawer out and so that's what I'll 
do with the other one with that white tree on the bottom so I'm going to take these these frames in there and coat them with some honey and I'll show you how to do that all right I'm fixing to uh, coat these with some beeswax and this is the beeswax I got I bought it on Amazon uh, I got two pounds of it two one pound blocks I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to take so I'm going to start off with one block and we'll see how it goes and I'll tell you at the end whether one block was enough or not so I'm going to have this crock pot here got it heating up I'm going to put a plastic bag inside it and I'm going to put the wax inside the, the bag that way it doesn't mess up the crock pot with all the, the wax so I'll let that heat up and when that gets melted I'll come back and we'll show you how to coat these with some beeswax okay my wax is melted now so I'm gonna start applying it to these frames I'm gonna turn them upside down because the holes in these frames are angled downward this is the way they are and they're angled downward so the honey doesn't flow out of it so I'm gonna turn it upside down so that if any extra wax that I put on there will drain back out of the hole mm. You can get these flow hives completely assembled with the, the box and the frames in it already, but they're about $1,000 for them. They're pretty expensive. I got these frames here on eBay. I got uh, seven of them for about $100, and then I built the box. So there are cheaper ways you can go about acquiring the flow frames but I'm just putting this on with a, a disposable brush I'm not sure exactly how thick I need to put it but it seems to be going on pretty good You just need a thin coating on it. I think that's got that side. And we'll just flip it around and do the other side. This looks like it's gonna take a little while so I'll keep doing this and I'll check back with you later when I get towards the end all right I'm finishing up my last frame here and I'm just about out of beeswax I've used one just one pound of the two pounds that I bought so I've about used the whole pound. So I think a, a pound would do about seven frames. If you got more than that, you'd have to get more, but I'm scraping the bottom of the bag now just to finish this last one up. Now I just have to go put these back in the the hive and my flow frame will be ready I don't know if all this is gonna work the way I'm hoping it will but we'll find out if you want to see if it works out the way I'm wanting it to just uh, hit that subscribe button and 
click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I release a new video and I'll keep posting all the way till the to end when I start harvesting some honey and uh, we'll see whether it works or whether it doesn't work I don't know I've never known anybody to have indoor hives the way I'm doing it so I'm kind of experimenting so we'll see what happens hope y'all enjoyed the video